Hey guys, welcome back to another new video. So in this video, I'm going to review another custom ROM for Redmi Note 6 Pro. And I haven't uh, reviewed many ROMs for this ROM because I, I saw that actually not much people watching these videos. So that's why I'm taking time and reviewing the ROMs. So I saw actually many ROMs are coming now, although this ROM is not an official ROM, but uh, in few days, I will review some ROMs which are official and maybe we, they, those will be very good but this time i will be talking about this rom it's awaken west and it's running on android 13 and this rom actually solved many issues with the previous android 13 rom i have reviewed so first of all let's go and check our version and other things so as you can see android 13 uh awaken version is 3.3 treat on and it's, it's an unofficial nom and that's why there is unofficial maintainers and security patch level is uh last month january 5 2023 so this all about the uh, specific uh what it called the version of rom and other things and as you can see this rom is look like pure stock rom although it has um some tweaks maybe but not sure okay i will uh we'll talk about the cons first then i will go to the pros actually there is not much cons with this rom Although in Android 13 based ROM in last review, I had talked about a lot about like camera issue and other things. But in this ROM, the camera issue is gone. There is no issue with that. But there is two more issues still left. So first of all, let's go and check the notification panel. So you can, as you can see, the individual Wi-Fi and data connection you can put. So no issue with that. If I go to setting and hotspot, so oh, hotspot and thuttering, Wi-Fi hotspot. So there is no like 2.4 gigahertz um uh, 5 gigahertz band 2.4 gigahertz band only so if you share internet from your phone so you you are not lucky with that now go with like uh tweaks there is not much tweaks available with this rom actually there is only tweaks available is that if you go to the battery option then you can change this icon only and rather than that not much thing actually you can do with this rom there is not many so as you can see status bar indicator you just do it and other than that there is no nothing and also another thing is that there is no xiaomi parts option this rom also have like uh, this this phone also have like skin retention problem that's why it kills skin like skin ghosting so to fix that you can use like extra dim mode but if you use extra dim mode there is issue with that too which is not much noticeable but it's it's there so if i click setting as you can see it's dim and just bright up so again i will show you so if i click on network and setting again as you can see dim and come the brightness come back so if i turn off the extra dim so it you will not see that option anymore as you can see it's it's gone already but uh, as we have like skin retention problem so i have to use extra dim feature otherwise it looks ugly actually most of the time and another thing is that although if I go here, display and like a double tap to wake up is on. But if I turn off it, okay, like let's switch off, uh, turn off the screen and let's double tap. So it doesn't work. In previous Android 13 ROM also, I got this problem. Only like in Android 11, I did not got that and dot OS. But in this ROM also, it's, it is there. But maybe in future like official ROMs, maybe I will uh there will be no issue with this kind of issue now these are actually few of the cons of this rom just not actually not that major issues completely daily driver rom there is no issue with that so this issue you can ignore actually it's not a big deal but the issue is still there so now come with the pros part the pros part is like the apps as you can see it it doesn't come with a lot of apps and safety net pass so you can use like your all the uh what it called uh apps and banking apps and other things although because maybe i am not connected to internet that's why it's showing safety net failed but previously i have checked let's let's check again connect with the wi-fi yeah okay connected so let's check safety net again maybe safety net should be passed yeah safety net is passed so you can use bank apps and other apps there will be no issue with that and actually this ram doesn't come with any kind of camera app as you can see i have a gcam here which works really good here there is no issue with this rom like last android 13 rom i got the problem with like the the boys are not recording properly 
or um, I uh, the I cannot switch the camera or there is lag and other things but in this ROM there is no issue so you can click photos there is no issue very fast and also the video and audio everything works fine because I have already tried these things and these things works really good and I will put the, the ROM link and the Gcam link in the description below so if you want to install this ROM you can install and if you ask me like do you want to install this ROM or not I will say yeah definitely you can go with this ROM there is no issue not really big issue with this ROM like the things we have mentioned like conspert those are actually uh, ignorable there, those things actually does not matter that much uh, about the battery battery is really good here also about five to six hour you will get a screen on time and battery draining is very less and fingerprint works really good here too let me show you that as you can see there is no delay you just touch it and it will open although animation is a little bit slow but uh, each and every time there is the fingerprint works really good here and as you can see the animation and everything is really fine there is no issue very fast and fluent <coughs> so you probably can go with this rom but uh, i will suggest to wait a few days more so that i can try one or two more roms like official roms and then i will review those two and maybe those those roms will not have this kind of box like with the extra dim mode and also like hotspot and double tap to wake up maybe those those problem will be fixed on those roms so that's it about awaken os for redmi note 6 pro and this version of awaken os is 3.3 .3. so maybe in another version you will get less bugs or more bugs so this is this version i'm reviewing here is 3.3 .3 and it's with, it is the latest version for this uh phone so that's it about uh rom review thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time so please sabarakara sabarakara sarakara sarakara